Hello, my Libra family. This is Barb at Mystic Dora Tarot, and this is your weekly reading for the week of November 30th through December 6th. Thank you so much for joining me today, and thank you if you already subscribed to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, and please subscribe, and join me each and every day for my quick glance daily readings. Now, just a brief reminder that these are general readings, so take what resonates and leave the rest. So let's get started and see what your cards are indicating. Okay, Libra, so you're starting off with your first card here. It's a tarot card for your overall energy. And you have the Eight of Coins. Next, this is your Crystal of the Week card, Unikite, and your directional card for the week, Wide Open. And last but not least, your tea leaf card message, flag. Okay, Libra. Now, going back to your tarot card for your overall energy, this is the Eight of Coins, also known as the Eight of Pentacles. So this card is in regards to your job, your career, or something that you might be working on. And this could be in your work environment or at home, either or. But the Eight of Coins is something that you're so focused on, every single little detail. So it could be a special project that you're working on in your at your work, in your work environment. Or it could be a hobby, a favorite hobby, something you're doing at home or possibly with a group. Putting in a lot of time and effort and pride in your work, this is paying attention to all the little details. Now, for some of you, the eight of coins could be popping up if you've been looking for a job. Either you've been unemployed with what's been going on in the world, or you might be unhappy where you're at right now and you're looking for a new job. So the eight of coins showing up can indicate that you're going to soon be employed in a very steady and, and rewarding work, meaning something you'll just enjoy doing. And I do see a few Libras deciding to go off and start their own business. And so this energy is very intense, looking at every little detail before you actually go live with your business. Now, the Eight of Coins is actually Virgo's card. So not surprised because this is a very intelligent, organized, analytical, practical energy. And that's being applied to the job or project at hand. And this card is associated with the sun. So it's got to do with your personal drives, your passion. Something you put your heart and soul into, Libra. So again, for some of you, this is pertaining to your job or career. And for others, it's a project you're working on. And the number eight energy of this card is abundance and leadership and influence. So it represents honor and respect with this job. This can be in regards to getting rewards and getting promoted, being in a position of leadership for some of you. That might be coming your way. Now, let me pull some clarifying cards to see if we can get any more explanation about this energy for this week. Any more? Oops, hold on. I lost one. Any more information? For eight of coins for Libra. Okay. All right. First, we have the six of swords. So this is a card of indicating that you're moving away from possible difficulty, possibly a hostile work environment or a hostile situation. And since this is coins or pentacles, I'm thinking this has to do 
with either some of you being out of work and now finding work, or for some of you just leaving one company and going to another. And the number six energy of this card is trying to establish balance and harmony in your life. Now your next card, the emperor. Okay, this is very commanding energy. So you're standing in your own power right now. So I feel that's got a lot to do with the, the Libras that are possibly starting up their own business or trying to get their project, if it's a personal nature, off the ground. This card is indicating putting back some stability into your life, Libra. And then your last clarifying card, another major arcana card, because the emperor was major arcana. It's the hermit who is shining his, his lantern here right at your other two clarifying cards, almost like showing you the way, bringing you towards the hermit. Now, the hermit card is generally just retreating within, withdrawing. But in this case, if you're seeking answers at this time, it's going to be something that's going to be within yourself. So the Hermit card is indicating connecting to your higher self for the answers that you're looking for. And usually with the Hermit, he's standing on ice. And ice symbolizes isolating yourself and waiting because it's a symbol of growth beneath the surface. And you can't see it but there's a lot of change happening within. So I feel for, for some Libras, you've been wanting this change to come in, and especially the ones that have been looking for a job and have been out of work. Your cards are indicating this is now changing for you. Okay, Libra, so let's move on and see which crystal your angels and guides have selected for you, and it was Unikite. So when this crystal is suggested, Libra, it can mean you're spending too much time focusing on either what's happening in the past, and you should just let that go, or you're obsessed and constantly trying to plan for the future. And there's nothing wrong with making plans for the future, but if it interferes with having time to enjoy and live in the present, that's the problem. And that's why your angels and guides are making this crystal abundantly clear for you this week. They want to encourage you to be fully present. It's time for you to enjoy what is around you now, Libra. And they're indicating to meditate with this crystal so that you're living in the present and not missing each and every opportunity that comes your way. With this crystal unikite, it helps you to live in the now. It's a balancing and grounding crystal, which is associated with your heart chakra. So your angels and guides are telling you to focus on the things and the people that bring you the most fulfillment or happiness right now at this moment. And to spend time doing things that you love and that re-energize you. So be sure this week that you connect with your loved ones and do something fun together. Live in the present, Libra. That's the main message of this crystal. Now let's move on to your directional card. And you received wide open. Okay. So for this week, there's a lot of opportunities that are going to be presented to you at this time. And this card is a signal that you're able to truly manifest your dreams and that your goals are indeed in sight. Have faith, Libra. It's like the light at the end of the tunnel. So don't remain small and certainly don't be thinking about the past. You can't change that. Instead, expand your horizons beyond what you believe to be your limitations, Libra. You have a, a very unique voice that needs to be expressed in the world. 
And that's what this card here is indicating. And the universe is supporting your new ideas and approaches at this time. So speak up and speak out to the universe. Now, the wide open card is like the sign of the maverick who just freely roams the wide open space of possibility. So allow for a greater vision to replace all those old ideas from the past and start to dream big, Libra. That's what this card is indicating for you. Now let's take a look at your tea leaf card message. And you have flag. It's a very basic, simple message. Sometimes these cards can get a bit complicated, but flag is just telling you, do not be tempted to lower your standards. It's showing you a flag that flies at the top of the mass, very proud, majestic. It's a symbol of integrity and honor. So this card is coming your way because you'll find yourself in a situation where you might be tempted to lower your high standards. And this card is showing up. It's warning you that you should not resort to a shortcut or a quicker route, but to always live by the high standards that have served you in the past, Libra. And the message I'm getting is that some of you are going to be approached with some kind of get rich quick scheme, which always sounds too good to be true. And usually turns out that it is. It's way too good to be true. So don't fall for that. And that would be an indication of you lowering your standards by trying to take a possible shortcut to get around putting in the groundwork and the hard work that's necessary to have any kind of meaning for achievement. And this might apply to the Libras who might be starting their own business or trying to get a project off the ground. I see someone coming to you, a conversation, some kind of communication coming to you where someone's presenting something. That's just the, and it's just too, way too easy for you to take advantage. So that's how it's coming across. So keep in mind this week that if something comes along your path and it seems to be too good to be true, that's a red flag. And even though this flag card is not red, that's what I'm seeing. It's a red flag telling you, walk away, say no. So this week, Libra, with the Eight of Coins card, this is indicating for some of you that you're going to be finding work and something you'll enjoy. And this is to the Libras that have been out of work. Now for others, this can be something that you're working on currently in the workplace or even at home. This can be some kind of project where you're paying attention to every single detail. And for some of you, you might be starting up your own business. And for others, you're the lead person on this project. And your three clarifying cards are indicating with the Six of Swords that you're moving away from a lot of struggles or drama. You've got some balance coming back into your life. And the Emperor card is indicating you're standing in your own power. You're taking charge and moving forward. You're putting stability back in your life. And the Hermit card is shining the light on those two other cards showing you the way down the path. And that could be listening to your inner higher self, Libra. What's your intuition telling you to do this week? The answers are within you. And your crystal for the week is Unikite, reminding you, stop thinking about the past and think a little bit less about your future. Make your future plans. But this crystal is telling you to focus on the here and now, the present times. And since it's associated with your heart chakra, it's telling you to enjoy the people around you and the things that you love to do and want to have in your life. Celebrate that. Focus on that. Enjoy. Live in the present. And the wide open card is indicating to go after your dreams and goals at this time. The energy of this card, and this is your direction for the week, 
is to take advantage of the opportunities that are around you and don't underestimate what you'll be able to achieve. Be that wild maverick running free. Dream big, Libra, is what that card is telling you. As the energy is changing and opening up for you to manifest what you want for your future. And your tea leaf card message is dropping a red flag on the field, telling you not to be tempted to take a shortcut or lower your standards in regards to anything that's going to come your way this week. And I feel for some of you, there's going to be something like a, a get-rich-quick type scheme, that type of energy that's going to come your way. And this card here is warning you, walk away from that. That is not the energy that your cards are indicating for you this week. So Libra, if you've been looking for a job, looks like this is going to be happening this week. You're moving away from difficulties and creating more harmony and balance in your life. And your crystal of the week is telling you, live for the here and now. But dream big for what you want to do and don't compromise your standards. Anything that's worth achieving is worth working hard for. Thank you so much for joining me today. And if you would like to obtain further information, click on my website link below for your own private reading. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and help support my channel if you haven't already. And please join me for my daily readings or check out my channel for other tarot card readings available. Love and abundance to my Libra family.